Today on the Spiel. I'd, I'd been writing for a long time and a lot of it was journal just entries journaling. and just, okay. you know, random thoughts. And, you know, sometimes it's easier for me to get my, my thoughts out on paper than it is to sometimes talk about them. So this is a there. very exotic dish. You yeah. see how it has the pineapple, the coconut, and the watermelon. All of those things is just summer. This is the spiel. I'm here today, and all I hear is how I'm chasing crazy dreams. They'll see, cause I've got perfect songs and melodies just waiting to come out of me. And you'll sing along like a Time and you'll sing along like oh, oh, and they'll know everyone will know they should have believed in me. Believe, baby. Man, it is nice to be home in studio. We've been out and about, but doing some stuff. Don't don't tell them yet what. Don't tell them wait. Don't tell what? them what yet. Yeah. You see, that's how long we've been gone. I forgot how to you speak. You got Juliaism going on. I have don't a you? oh, you have no idea. You wait until I share what happened. <laughs> no, truly, we've been on the road. A lot going on. We'll share with you at the end. We'll give you a little mm -hmm. tease of some of the things coming up. But we do have to touch on something serious first. Yes, we do. Yes. Um, and you know what? We're going to take it light, real, like right after that. Okay. Um, but you've learned something, and now I can't take you anywhere because you're asking people to strip down and you want to search their body, and what's up? You know what? When I see a fair-skinned person now or yes. a redhead, this is so important. If I can reach one person out there that will do this, you'll make my heart happy. Yes. I went into the dermatologist a couple of weeks back, mm -hmm. and I had just an ugly... Just get some things burned off, yeah, right? Yeah, burned yeah. off, just some skin tags, and right. I didn't want to see it. Sure. And uh, while I was there, he said, Ooh, what's that spot there? That's a little alarming, Doc. Thanks for that. It's like, ooh, yeah, I don't ooh. like that. What? I mean, he said, how long has it been there? I said, you know what? I don't ever look underneath right, the breast area. Right, I can't see underneath I don't know. the boobs. So I, I don't know how long it's been there. Right, right, Anyway, right. he goes, let's just, let's just take it off. Take a little bit. Well, they okay. took it off and it came back, malignant melanoma. So, wow, scary, scary stuff. Scary and stuff. Do you realize that meloma, I'm sorry, melanoma, it is one of the fastest growing cancers. Mm -hmm. And it can get into your lymph nodes and little feeders to get to your, mostly your brain, your lungs, and your liver. I've been looking up on this stuff. Mm. It goes fast. Mm -hmm. So I went to St. Louis and had a, a check head to toe, which is I want y'all to do. Right. Somebody out there that's Make it a yearly thing, yeah. yeah. Head to toe. And um, they're gonna have to go in now and cut about that much mm -hmm. and about a half inch deep. It's all right. Just that we have it all, but. Because we don't need that currently. I mean, no. that's really gonna mess up what we're trying to do here. It okay? is, all it right. does. So that has so to go. Please get checked if you're light skinned, you're yeah. older, you see a mold changing colors, yeah. shapes maybe, get checked. Well, that's the problem. You can't see your back. I mean, you can have someone check you out, but then it's weird because you're like naked and you're standing there in front of you. are like, well, what about under here? Yeah. Like the butt check. But the doctor, see, they he's do that. They're, they do it. So just schedule they it yearly. That. Schedule all your exams yearly because it's what you don't know that can hurt you. And I want to say too, don't, and you're sitting at home thinking, well, I don't worship the sun. I'm not out there. I don't either. Right. Because I burn. That's right. I don't lay in tan a tanning bed. Right. I'm not in the sun much. I don't put a bathing suit on and go lay on the beach. And it was here which it was here, is odd, which is anyway. never yeah, in yeah, the yeah. sun yeah so get checked no doubt good message and yep. you heard it right here on the spiel um we're gonna make them go all the way through the show right before we tell them where we've been and yeah what we've done so and you gotta hang on with that's this. right it's really good we'll be right back coming up on the spiel you know, I, I had this idea that I really wanted to write a book, but I didn't know what it would really be about. So I started to realize a lot of the things that I was writing about were things that, you know, needed a change in my heart. Coming up later in the show. We're gonna play with this Penang curry paste. This is kind of spicy. Yes. So uh, the watermelon, what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it easy for the palate. Yes. And cut, cut some it. of that spice. Of course, sales is where it starts, but that's just the beginning. Uh, what a person really needs after the sale is the ability to take care of that machine. It's an investment. 
in the event you do need repairs, you need trained technicians that know what, what's going on with the product, and we do have that. We know farm equipment, and we know outdoor power equipment. We sell a full line of Kubota. We're one of the only full line dealers in this area. Someone said, to find a man's true character, play golf with him. Likewise, to experience the true character of the region, you should play its golf courses. From the old oaks of Crab Orchard Golf Club to the hills of Cocopelli, across the shores of Pine Lakes to the links at Stardust. Find a challenging and diverse range of play that you can only experience when you visit SI. We can all agree that time is by far our most valuable resource. The pace of life today makes saving time more important than ever. With the Bank of Heron new mobile app, you can deposit checks, transfer funds, or keep track of transactions and balances all from your phone. Use your Bank of Heron debit card with the new mobile app and save even more time for the things that matter most. Available now. Download on Apple Store or Google Play. The Bank of Heron. It's not just a bank, it's a relationship. Probably the most important thing in medicine is to have a home, a place where you can come and be seen and get treatment for minor or serious conditions. My name is Dr. Harry Carter. I see patients in very different situations and circumstances. And it, all times trying to make a difference in their lives. One should not feel like they can't come in with a problem and allow us to help them fix it. Come in, I think that'd be the best way and the easiest way. We'd love to have patients join us and we'd love to help serve them. Visit us at crhpc.org. Kitchen, bathroom, and flooring. It's all here at Home Improvement Warehouse. We have 40,000 square feet of kitchen, bath, and flooring products. We stock cabinets. We have some special order. They get here within two weeks. All our cabinets are all wood, fully assembled, very high quality, and we're much, much cheaper than anywhere else around. And welcome back to the spiel. I love when we have artists, and I love when I know a little bit about the artists too. This book's called The Heart Arsonist, Lessons from a Heart Set on Fire. Joseph Raby, we can call you Joe. Absolutely. What a great family you come from. Uh, thank you very much. Beth, your, your wife sat right here on the couch a few weeks ago. With she me. did. Michelle Raby fell in love with her. And um, I, I, I'm convinced now that you guys have some sort of competition going on at home. So, <laughs> so you're publishing this week, so you're writing a book now. Oh, really? OK, well, I got mine out. Did you see this? Yeah. So yeah, that's it's awesome. And you're doing God's work, which is, yes. which is fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, again, I want to say kudos to your parents because they planted some great seeds in all of you boys. Mm, they that's definitely just what, did. And they took, and they grew, and you're helping a lot of people. Uh, thank you very much that's that's a huge compliment but the title of your book it's so poignant in that you know there can have there can be so many meanings there and you know sometimes you, you hear the term arson and you're thinking okay that's a very you know that can be a derogatory term but arsonist when you when you burn something you know of the heart and your heart um, is set on fire that can mean a, a lot of different things sometimes that has to happen for things to come back even more beautiful than they were before and and I, I said that you mentioned that that's sort of how it came about it is and you know I I'd been writing for a long time and a lot of it was journal just entries journaling. and just okay. you know random thoughts and you know sometimes it's easier for me to get my my thoughts out on paper than it is to sometimes talk about them so you know I, I had this idea that I really wanted to write a book but I didn't know what it would really be about so after looking through a lot of those journal entries and and kind of the common thread that was in there I started to realize a lot of the things that I was writing about were things that you know needed a change in my heart and you know, when you look at a field that's being burned, a lot of times it doesn't make much sense because it's like, you know, a farmer makes money from their field and they're setting it on fire. So when I started to research a little bit more about what those controlled burns were like, I started to realize like when they do that, it's actually so their crop can come back and be more plentiful. Exactly. So when I started to think about that, I was like, wow, that, that can really apply to our life and into the things that God wants to do inside of our hearts. And he wants to kind of issue a controlled burn on the things and the mindsets and the thoughts and maybe the lies that have been spoken over us, you know, from other people or sometimes even to ourself. Oh, yeah. And he wants to burn those things away so our lives Lives can really flourish the way that he designed and created us to. So you looked through your journal entries and thought, 
okay, other people can prosper by knowing this stuff. Is that what you did? Yeah, I mean, it really kind of started. Knowing your thoughts. Yeah, yeah, at first it was really just kind of catharsis for myself. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I started to think about it and I was like, you know, if these are things that, that I've struggled with or I've dealt with or had questions about or, you know, kind of been kind of shackled by, there's probably other people that have went through the same thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I sat down and I said, you know, let's, let's put this together. Yeah. And I really didn't even think about setting it up as kind of like a devotional type thing. There's actually 31 chapters in there. Mm -hmm. But a friend of mine that was helping me kind of, you know, think through the process a little bit, he goes, you know, this is kind of like a devotional, right? And I was like, I didn't actually. Mm -hmm. So it kind of worked out kind of cool. So, you know, that was definitely not by design, but I think it's kind of how God wanted it to be. I think an underlying theme for both you and your wife, um, your works, is that, uh, you know, we, we question um, how is it that God sees us? Well, God sees us as His own, and we're mm -hmm. all just wretched sinners, and really we don't deserve any of it. Yeah. Um, but if you're constantly trying to rebuild and you're constantly trying to strengthen that relationship, and sometimes it's just reaching out and saying, God, I need you because um, we think we have it figured out and maybe oh, yeah. we fail we don't. miserably, don't we? Yeah, self help's kind of a, a weird concept yeah. when you really think about it because <laughs> exactly. self is usually what gets us into it's the right. messes that we <laughs> get wrong. in. So, right. you know, it really is, it's reaching that hand up and saying, like, God, I'm, I'm here, right. I'm listening, what do you want to do? Right. And then just kind of stepping back and, you know, letting him take the wheel, so to speak. So I know this is your thoughts and your feelings. Have you seen anyone that's read your book and think, that's exactly what I wanted to get across? Yeah, that's there's. Awesome. it's really been, been cool, some of the responses to the people. And some of them were people that I didn't know. Some of them were people that were very close to us. Um, one, one guy in particular, actually we were texting just a couple of weeks ago, and he was in a really, really tough spot in his life. And his his grandma had introduced me to him at the church we were at in Sacramento, and I just sat down to talk with him one day. And Which it, was no accident. It, it really wasn't an accident. And I sat down, and since we've talked, he said, you know, the first thing that you did is you just asked, said, tell me about you. Mm. And that's really where that seed was planted. And then as we were talking, I just really felt led to give him a book. and. He read it and he said it absolutely just changed his perspective, his mindset, and what he has been doing since then, he has just had an absolute 180 in his life. He's on fire. And, you know, he, he had went through, he'd struggled with addiction, he'd struggled with all kinds of different things in his life, and he's totally come out of that, and he is just absolutely really set on fire, like the book says. And you know what, sometimes it takes something like this to open folks' eyes, you know, and let them know there is another way. Yeah, and, and one thing I really, really enjoyed writing this is I wrote that not just for someone who might be a believer, mm -hmm. but someone who may have never stepped foot in a church. So it's, it's all very real world situations and things that I've went through, you know, from perfectionism to struggling with addiction to struggling with you name it. Um, you know, if it's being, you know, just feeling like we're broken, or we don't right. fit in. A lot of parenting stuff. I've learned a lot from our kids. And no I'll, doubt, don't they teach us so much? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, I, crazy. <laughs> I've got a better perspective of how God sees us now from, from having two kids. Our son is six and our daughter is four. So just, uh, you know, realizing that sometimes they just need us to hold them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one chapter in there is called Sleeping on the Floor. And it was when our son was struggling with sleeping when he was little. And I remember his little hand, you know, I was, I was really forceful that night and just like, just go to sleep, bud. Like, I want to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, tired. Why don't you go to Close sleep? Your eyes. And Here's he's crying. And then I look up and I'm sitting on the floor by his crib and his little hand is sticking out of the crib. And all he says is, hold my hand, Dad. And it was like the Holy Spirit, like, gave right me a right there. cross and knocked me to the floor. And he said, how many times have you been on the floor crying out with your hand out saying, Dad, like, hold my hand. Oh, wow. wow. So good. So, you know, those are just some of the things in there wow. that, you know, when we start to think differently, those things really trickle down into our heart. So it's about spending time and getting intimate with God. And, no doubt. And sometimes even getting real and intimate with ourself. No doubt. And acknowledging those things that we need to make changes in our life too. And opening our eyes too, because you look back on your life and you thought, okay, that was really rotten. Wait a minute, there yeah. was a lesson there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think people forget sometimes, um, and, and maybe because you reiterate, you know, this here's how God sees you. We think sometimes, oh, well, I've done 
done, man, I have crossed the line. I have done too much. It yeah. is, I mean, he's gone. There's yep. no way. And it's so interesting. He's always outside that front door. And even when we think we've got our house under control and such, he remains there. We just have to open the door and let him in. And um, I, I don't think he's ever turned his back, you know? And it, it's unfortunate that too many times um, people may do that and not realizing the importance, but man, the difference it makes, huh? Absolutely, yeah. None of us are ever too far gone. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think it's one of those things, you know, God never forces himself on us. Mm -hmm. You're but right, he, but he's, he's there. He's always there yeah. waiting for us just to turn around and say, hey. Can't do this on my own. I'm a little embarrassed when we talk about this. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry I did that, but yep. yeah. And there's definitely been a lot of those moments. This morning was a struggle with the kids, and, and I sat there, and on my way here, and like, I'm going. Do you understand I'm trying to get ready for television? I'm like, <laughs> oh, I've got to go talk about this today. You're going to challenge me today. Oh, my gosh. So, you know, it's those things. They, they constantly come back, but we just have to constantly refocus and, and think about, like, why are we really doing these things? And Yeah. Like God again. I mean, exactly. we are those kids sometimes not making his day really good. Exactly. You know, that's what happened this morning. Yeah, exactly. Well, we want people to get the book. Yes. Um, where can they find it? You can get it on Amazon. So awesome. pick up a copy, pick up three or four copies, giving us some friends that you think it would encourage. No doubt. And, you know, my email is in the front of the book. You can personally email me if you have a question or just yes. want to want to chat or want prayer or anything like wow. that. You can look me up on Facebook. Uh, any of that, that contact information is in the front of the book as well. But anytime you'd like to talk, we're here. So. Hey, good job. I mean, yeah. you're, you're doing so well for your little ones looking up and mom and dad are both giving them something to be proud of. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. It's an honor thank to be here. So we'll be thank right you back. Very much. Coming up on the spiel. Mm. Take this curry paste. This will make it. It's spicy. And, and when you're using this, normally I tell everybody, you know, salt and pepper is important to use, but you have to be real careful because it's salty and spicy at the same time. Coming up later in the show. Baby, that just ain't me. Baby, don't you worry about me. And I'll be right there in your arms, waiting on you till you get home, my mind. It doesn't have to cost a thing to do a random act of kindness. These are for you, Mama. <laughs> so divided in this country right now, and it needs to stop. This eye for an eye leaves everyone blind. Love one another and let that define us as a nation. Farmer State Bank, no one serves you better. You probably didn't know this, but in Shawnee Forest Country, a kayak can become a time machine. Each paddle stroke down the Cache River can take you farther into the past. Explore the northernmost bayou in the U.S., discover thousand-year-old cypress trees and the rich biological diversity. Find a unique adventure along more than 15,000 acres of protected waterways. And when you've paddled deep enough for time to stand still, that's how you'll know you're in Shawnee Forest Country. I'm Bob Davenport, broker owner of Realty Central. Our area, our MLS board, it covers 26 counties. So I have agents that cover a lot of the areas. I've got Jackson, Williamson, Union County. I have agents that work in Williamson County. I have agent that lives in Franklin County. I have an agent that covers Perry and Randolph County. We get 21 people here that work in the office, and we, we call it the Realty Central team. Everybody's willing to help one another. I have excellent office staff that's got a friendly voice when you call. My company, we all work together and we help one another out. It's all about customer service. You know, you don't take care of your client, somebody else will. We're, we're a locally owned company. They're putting the hours in. People say, what are my hours? And I'll work when they don't. So when they're not working, it's when we're working. Then we're working in the background also. So kind of help them out step by step and tell them what's going on. If you're deciding where you want to list or you want to buy, you know, give us a call. We'll meet you in the office. We'll meet somewhere that's convenient for you. Realty Central, faces you know, people you trust. Find us at RealtyCentralHomes.com.
To find out more about the Spiel or even watch past episodes, visit spieleon.com. You know, everything feels new again. We are spieling it in our HIW kitchen. We're so thrilled to be here. Thanks to Prairie Farms making it possible. Pags or Poly Ice Pizza. Who else loves you and want to throw? I just, they just want to sponsor you to keep you on the air. Round House, pond. That's it. House Chef Lasser, Sorens, and everybody. So I think we got them all. If we don't, we'll get to you. It'll be on screen, and we love you, and we need you. And what's up? Oh, man. Did you just come in with some infused butter there? Yeah, garlic Prairie butter. Prairie Farms, garlic yeah. butter. Look at that. Garlic. Garlic. Actually, you know, you can never get enough Never get garlic. enough oh. butter. You need oh, all the butter you can more. get. Now, is this salted or unsalted? That's unsalted. Unsalted because butter. Because we're going to play with this Penang curry paste. This is kind of spicy. Yes. So uh, the watermelon, what that's going to do is it's going to make it easy for the palate. Yes. And cut, cut some it. of that spice. Nice. So you would, you eat it together, not separate. That's right. No, you eat it together. And then yes. there's a, just a, an explosion in your mouth with the right flavors because it's a not too much hot, of any right? one thing. Cold and hot. And, yeah. and hot and spicy and not. But in order to, to, when you use this curry, there's different ways to do it. I always like to uh, get it uh, dissolved with some onions, some butter, garlic. Get it what? Dissolved. That's why he is a superstar, because he does things like that. And he has dissolved. people. Dissolved. That's right. Not dissolved. Listen, we love round pond wine, and I know you cook with that a lot at your mm -hmm. restaurant. It's a little high end, but we are open to a round pond sponsorship. We need a wine sponsorship. If not, we are also open to Kendall Jackson. This is the point in the show in which we ask, you know, we, we solicit, right? Huh? Absolutely. They said I just cheapened, cheapened the content. So All right. Like oh. Lie. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my. There's hardly any. That's seeds. beautiful. I, this you know is what? A seedless watermelon. But when is. I was pregnant, I could not get enough of that stuff. I mean, my kid, and he won't eat it today. <laughs> He's like, Mom, you, you probably overdid Aww. it in the womb. Aww. I could not get enough watermelon. So good. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it in small pieces. And, chef. Uh, you know, I like to... Uh, you can't really ever chef like you'd ask your mom, can I have a bite? <laughs> no, you can't. No, no. I'm afraid I'll to cut my your fingers off. I will there. cut your finger off, kid. So, here. Thanks, right. chef. Love you. Mean it. Just like mom. You know, here, try this. So what mm. we're going to do is we're mm. going to take this curry paste. This will make it it's spicy. And, and when you're using this, normally I tell everybody, you know, salt and pepper is important to use, but you have to be real careful because it's salty and spicy at the same time. So don't so, use. So, so we're, we're going to taste it this is a very put anything in there. This is a delicate balance of a lot. There's a lot going on here. You have to make sure that every note, every flavor note is on point, right? Because without exactly. one being over, overwhelming. And I'm using this Penang curry, so once it's it's all incorporated in here, uh, in the Penang butter, curry. what we're curry. gonna do is we're gonna add some uh, acidity to it too. So good. This is pineapple juice. Oh wow! Pineapple juice gives it a little sweet, sweet, and uh, also it will uh, give the dish some acidity. Love that. Love Can that. I smell? We have mm -hmm. seen him cook, um, you know, oh. salmon with strawberries, and you just really know how to balance that. And it, it's just taking and some chances that, and finding it out. That's what it's all out. about. And people, when they cook, don't taste the food enough. Right, right. If you taste it as you go, you know, you know, last minute you can kind of correct it. And it's such a, a difference uh -huh. when you add a little bit of extra salt, a little bit of acidity, or maybe a little bit spice. That's important to always taste what you're making That's before right. you serve it. That's right. Because, don't do a Julie. Sometimes I think, well, I like this flavor a little more. I'm gonna put a bunch in. Mm. It throws everything off, right, Chef? Yeah, it, it does. does. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these uh, shrimp. shrimp in here. And then we're gonna put a little mushrooms on here too. Crazy. And this was coconut milk. Coconut, because we needed yeah. that that extra so level of flavor there. This is a there. very exotic dish. You yeah. see how it has the pineapple, the coconut, and the watermelon. How did you come up with this? All of those things is just summer. And here's another trick. So when when we are plating this, what 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 I like to do is add different colors to the food, and this is such a gorgeous color, right? It is. So. We need a little crunch in there too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a, a great way to give a little crunch is when you make a garnish is to uh, use a carrot. And, and just like we peel a carrot, 
we'll, we'll make these peels out of the carrot. Real thin, huh? Yeah. You know, it's just the extra step, isn't it, Julie? Mm -hmm. I, know, I know you do things like this all the time for your family. I need to stop and really do more of these things for mine. I mean, this shows my them that family. You love them. When I finally cook, yes. they're so excited. We all just gather around the pot, like with spoons. <laughs> now, oh, I, I like warm. to use the cilantro. You know, like, like it's such a shame to waste. And you know, there's a lot of herbs like that where we're used to, or we've been trained just to Take pick it all apart. Mm -hmm. But the stem has a lot of good flavor too. It so does. when I use cilantro, I kind of like to use it as a salad leaf, if you will. You want to play? So. Yeah, I want to okay. play. Yes, sir. I so feel so important. So what we're going to do is... Oh, oh, yes. Just one. Okay, we'll share. We'll be nice There's today. There's some sprouts we'll nice. here. Yes, I love sprouts. We're going to put that on like sprouts. that. Sprouts. Love that. And, and sprouts remember on how I said that we're going to use this kind of like... Mm -hmm. Like a salad. Like a salad. Exactly yeah. so, what it is. So we wanted to make this just extra spicy because I'm really going to prove to you how well that works when... Uh, you have watermelon on to the cut dish. it. Can I ask a quick question? Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Can you like put that over pasta? You could, yeah. That looks so absolutely. Cool. I mean, it'd be better to use like a, an, a some kind of uh, Asian noodle. Mm -hmm. oh, that would be more in check with what we're doing, right? So, my good. Look at you know what, oh. Chef. Oh, that right there. That's why right there, everybody. Oh. Let's go ahead and get that. I mean, Chef is beautiful. Yeah, Mwah. and it's fresh and summerly. It's fresh and summerly. summerly. Yes. Food is love. Go cook for somebody. Coming up on the spiel. There's like a whole other level. There's that whole beatbox thing that I'm a fan of. Okay? Oh, yeah. And yeah, what else? Beatbox. Okay, what is it called? Beatboxing and then what else? What yeah, you... the beatboxing and, and then there's a little bit of like rapping that can rapping. go with it. Rapping. Give us a little beatbox. Oh, not even a little uh, bit. Just give it to it like a lot. Like, um, well, I mean, there's like, uh, What did you bring me today, Tony? Well, Lazar, I brought you some pink salmon that I caught okay. during the summer months in Alaska. Premium grade it fish looks, that you are really absolutely going to love. That's a great piece. I want to show a couple of different ways we can do this. I call it entree coat cut. I don't know what other people call well, it. Well, we call it a butterfly. That looks really good right there. I'm into rustic these days, so I'm going to make this into a, a one pan deal where we just put everything in one pan. Your royal red shrimp and some uh, potatoes, yellow tomatoes, and green onions. And then we take the pan over and then we, we serve it. And so that's really, uh, the flavor's all infused through everything? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And I mean, this is also a good thing if you're sitting up around the campfire in Alaska. This is what we should make up there, right? You got it. We take somebody who knows nothing about a diesel engine. What we offer is a basic course in diesel engine. I've done what I'm teaching, so I'm not just reading it out of a book. I do it for a living, too. Our graduates, they're already up in top tech. They can work on Caterpillar, John Deere, Komatsu. It doesn't matter. They went from hardly nothing to up to here, and most of these guys knew nothing until they came through here. Three Rivers College, success starts here. Enroll now. Classes begin August 19th. Visit trcc.edu. How do you find affordable housing within the price category that you're looking for? Hi, I'm Jeff Woodruff. I'm managing broker at Woodruff Management. We manage both single bedroom and multi-bedroom facilities. We rent high-end townhomes. We'll rent entry-level houses to working class folks and to students just getting started, finding the price point. What's the best we can do for the budget that you have? We've done property management now for over 40 years. We're known by the friends we make and keep in quality housing. There's a way for people to get to know us better. Facebook and Facebook Business, WoodruffManagement.com list our listings. We love making new friends. Visit us online at facebook.com forward slash spiel on. The Spiel presents You're On, 100% original new music. How you doing? I'm Matt Bosler, 
this is a song called Don't You Worry. Uh, it's about how first impressions aren't always as they seem. Sign of voodoo, just keep pushing it yeah. through. Baby, don't you worry about me. And I'll be right there in your arms, waiting on you till you get home. My, my, my. I said, Baby, don't you worry about me. But when I'm awake, then I'm singing and dreaming, I'm screaming. Not your name, not your name. Ooh. Watching the spiel. What if I told you it's possible to capture the sun, to hold it in your hand, to pour it, to experience it? Here, the sun shines on hand tended vineyards and is barreled and stored in underground tunnels. And when you're ready, it's mixed with all the live music and atmosphere you can handle. It's not only possible to catch the sun and bottle it, but there's a place where it's already done for you. To find out more, visit SI.com. What we're about 
is a place to gather, a place to have fun, share family experiences with great food. You can order online for pickup or delivery. You can come in, dine in. We, we do accommodate large groups. Future holds more poly eyes. As long as people are willing to come, we're willing to serve. Hey, want to earn some easy money? Who doesn't, right? With rewards checking from Bank of Heron, it can be as easy as using your checking account. It's a free checking account. You earn monthly interest. There's no minimum balance, no maintenance fees, free internet banking and online bill pay, even refunds on ATM fees. Best of all, to get a nice rate, just open an account and start earning interest. Rewards checking at Bank of Heron. It's not just a bank, it's a relationship. We are monitoring all of your preventative health. I'm Marlissa Boyles. I'm a nurse practitioner here at Clay Medical Center, which is one of our 11 clinics out of the Christopher Rural Health Planning Corporation. We have implemented PCMH, Patient Care Medical Home. We work in collaboration with many specialists. This helps in tracking what you need for your age and any preventative screening. We would love to have you here in our family. Visit us at crhpc.org. Education is important. Three Rivers makes it easy to get one. With locations in Dexter, Kennett, Piedmont, Sykeston, Cape, and Poplar Bluff. With multiple programs of study in high demand fields like welding, diesel mechanics, nursing, business, teacher education, even ag technology. Three Rivers College has a degree for you and a convenient location where you can get it. So what are you waiting for? The time to enroll is right now. Don't miss your mark. Success starts here. Three Rivers College. And this is a segment called You're On. I'm so happy to have Matt Bosler. Not Bassler, not Basler, not. It's, it's yes, Bosler. yes, Bosler. You guys Bosler. nailed it. You got it. You got it. Nailed you it. You rock my No, world. you got it, dude. You Thank are you. hot. Wow. Thank you. you what guys is are that? You're so sweet to me. You're what so is that? Me. I mean, 15 years of determination and hard work and practice. And practice. You know, Matt, I saw you practice. probably eight years ago. Yeah. The strides you have made, yeah. the, the Oh thank my you. gosh. Thank you, thank you. It's nice to know that all the hard work is, is you know, somewhat paying off. You know, oh, so much developing my art. Well, my you have definitely, you know? I mean, he reached down and touched you because not only are you quite skilled here with the guitar, the voice, I mean, we were asking you, it's like, how do you do that with your voice? And sometimes you just have to say, it's God given. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. there you go. I mean, you're killing it. Well, thank you guys, I appreciate you. Yeah, I've, I've put a lot of work into it. I've been doing it for over 15 years now and playing all around the area locally, so. Raw. He's just, That's raw. Nice. Mm. Gavin yeah. DeGraw, Get move out. over. Get uh, out. Who are the, we covered people <laughs> last week that are all over the radio winning awards. And <laughs> you, my friend, sound better. Well, thank you. You, you guys do. are, you guys are so sweet to me. we don't say that to everybody. I yes. need you at all of my shows, just yeah. like to motivate me before and like build my confidence yeah. before the show. Be like, wow. she's kind you of are a, great. She's you a great. stage hog, though. She'd come out and she's like, hi, everybody. Hey. And then you wouldn't, get it, even, you wouldn't even get a song in. I'll tell you, I'll just be the backup. Yeah. I'll be the no, backup. No, no, like, no. You're the Julie, star. And I'll be here. You're the star, Matt. So we, we know you sound um, unlike anyone else. You know, we're, we're listening to your music. We're here. We're all head bobbing. We're loving it. You know, I mean, life is good. We're toe tapping. You're doing some things, making some noise. But I understand. There's like a whole other level. There's that whole beatbox thing that I'm a fan of. Okay? Oh, yeah. And yeah, what else? Okay, what is it called? Beatboxing and then what else? What yeah, you... the beatboxing and, and then there's a little bit of like rapping that can rapping. go with it. Rap. Give us a little beatbox. Well, not even a little uh, bit. Just give it to it like a lot. Like, um, well, I mean, there's like... Uh, Brain is scattered in a thousand different pieces. Some are thinking of food, and some are thinking of a missus. You've been giving me kisses. Feels like I'm floating in midair. It's a game of contradiction. What are your intentions? Keep your interest, but don't give it too much attention. But oh, what did I mention? The B E A U D seems to achieve perfection. Hey. Oh, yes. You know what you could. Yeah. Do sometime this yeah. auctioneer. You Man. talked about that. Hey, but I, think, uh, I finally found somebody who moves their head as much as me. Oh, you already yeah, have yeah, it. Do what? Well. Yeah. What'd you say? Somebody moves his head as much as I do. You know, I'm like, yeah. you can't yeah. be still. So. I can't, I, yeah, I can't be still. Like, even on stage, if uh, I've been, done, like, several contests in the past where I just have to hold a mic and I don't have a guitar, I don't know what to do with my hands. Uh -huh. And then I'm just like, I feel real awkward on stage. So 
it's way more comfortable for me to have a guitar on stage. Don't do those and contests I can't, anymore. You know, then you can't be yourself. Right? Oh, no, no, right? no, 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 yeah. And I can't sit still. So yeah, it's constantly, if I'm on stage, it's constantly, even people come to my shows now, if I'm sitting in a, in a stool even, it's, like, it's hey, still yeah, head, yeah. head bob and head rock and I'm shaking off the stool just about. What genre do you think you fit in or do you think you fit in one? Man, Don't put him in a box. Jason right, said it. right now, I'm not sure. I, I guess I'm just, as Joe Dirt said it, I'm a rocker through and through. Oh. I'm a rocker through and through, man. He I don't know shreds. what. I don't, I don't know what else. I, I love playing every genre I've written in every genre, but when it comes down to it, I love playing just rock and roll. You know what's so. crazy? I mean, it's a little rough and tumble, and I kind of like yeah. it. But there's such a soft message in a lot of your songs. Yeah. I mean, it's like. Yeah, I have the gritty, dirty kind of delivery. Yeah. But then once you kind of scrape all past that, uh, you know, it's it's the, preach. the nice, you know, uh, gushy, mushy stuff love underneath. It. If you love it, love it. All right, party. listen. Give mm -hmm. me the high point to date. You can't say the spiel, but do you don't? You, okay, spiel aside. The high <laughs> point in your career to date. Um. Oh gosh, in my career. Um. <sighs> Okay. I, I don't know. I don't so know. All of it. I guess he just, loves his fans, and yeah, it's been the high point is his whole career. Yeah, I guess I'm still reach. I'm still climbing and looking, looking for that. What's for your that. goal? Next Where question. Do you That's right. Get? I would want? love to be able to share my music with people. I would love to be able to the deliver world. a message and be able to possibly help people through times because music is such a powerful tool it to help people so through dumb. times and also to just uh, give people a raw emotion and a, and a feeling. Mm. You know, because just feelings just. Make you them know, feel they something. Feel so, just want to make it feel Get good. Take them area. down deep, Julie. Right. Get Take out them down of deep. Area. Get out. Go. That's that's right. that's Take the them down deep. Take that's them down deep. That's, that's it. The plan. That's, that's the plan. That's the plan. So. If you could collaborate with one person, who would it be? Anybody? Oh, oh man, there's so many people. Oh, one. I mean, if I'm one. One. Oh man, if I could collaborate with one person. One person. Oh. He's looking at. This beautiful girl. There's just so many. Help. You seem so to many, really like, like the idea of Daughtry. You seem to really yeah, like the idea of Gavin. Da you send them. Oh, yeah. They've got, they're amazing, amazing vocalists. What about like um, a Miranda? You might get crazy with like a Miranda Lambert. Miranda Lambert would too. be fun. Adam Levine would be fun to yeah. work yeah, with. Yeah, Adam would be good. Um, I would love You're better to, than Adam. I mean, oh, that's no, so sweet. No, seriously, Adam, you Adam totally so are. Good. You know who you should collaborate uh, with? Mm. Gabby, Gabby Barrett. Gabby Barrett. We need okay. to look that up. I know Gabby's people. We're going to, we're going to ask Gabby about a collaboration. That would be hot. Yeah, I mean, okay. there's there's so many bands I listen to that I would love to like uh, just sit and play. Name the, one. Uh, Kings of Leon, uh, Queens of the Stone Age. There it is. Um, there's a new band out recently that I've been uh, messing around with as far as like playing their music, and mm -hmm. that's a band called Bad Flower. They're a new band that's really popular on the rock scene and whatnot. Okay. Uh, they're up and coming, but there's just uh, a plethora of. If you had to do a country of, of, collaboration. A country, Chris Stapleton. Hands down. Oh. Yeah, it would be Stapleton. Yeah. Uh, and, and Stapleton is and probably... And Justin Timberlake would have to be there. Right, yes. exactly. Right. And Justin we'll would be there too, yes. So yeah, if I had one artist that I would love to, to, to collaborate with most of all, it would probably be Chris Stapleton. Yeah. Just because he is... He is Chris Stapleton would epic. love you. He's just it, epic. Right? I would love to sit down with him and just pick his brain on, you know, where he started, how he got where he did, what what vocal you know trainings I could do to get to his Dude, point too, you're epic. and his guitar you're very playing. Good. You're I'm very just, good. Very you good. don't give yourself enough no. credit. No, there's always room to grow. That's is the way right. I look at it. Always, you know? but they uh, do always. too. Chris yeah. will grow. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this Grammy goes to Matt, Matt Bosler. Bosler. Thank you. We'll be right Thank back. You. Thank you. The Spiel Saturdays at 11 on Fox 23. When you lose your teeth, you lose not just the ability to chew and eat and smile, which is a big thing, but you lose a part of yourself. It was life-changing when I came into Dr. Hughes. It showed me videos and models, and these are the choices we had. These were the options. Training matters. Experience matters. The thing which is extremely important is compassion. It brings back your ability to chew. You're restoring a sense of dignity. Come in and see Dr. Hughes. The greatest thing I ever did for myself. Few things in life complement each other like beer and barbecue. Whether you crave the savory flavors of wood smoked meat or the finish of a local craft brewed IPA, you'll find a hearty helping of both in Shawnee Forest Country. From a world champion barbecue cook off to a growing network of local brew pubs, the only question is what will you explore in Shawnee Forest Country? To learn more, visit southernmostillinois.com.
I've been shopping at Home Improvement Warehouse for years. I love this place. I come in here and I see new things all the time when I come in here and it inspires me to do stuff at home. More home improvement. We have 40,000 square feet of kitchen, bath, and flooring products. You can find us on Facebook, both locations, Paducah and Carbondale. But ideally, the best thing would be to come in and shop and see the product. We're a very unique and fun place to shop. Bring in measurements and we can figure your kitchen for you or help you in anything you need. Anything you need, you can get here at Home Improvement Warehouse in Carbondale. And they have a store in Paducah too. I love this place. Watching the spiel. That was a show right there. That was super a show. Star. Super show. Yeah. And you know what? Somebody on our show that's been on our well, they're all stars. Oh. But, but most of them are gonna take this big leap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And definitely today. And you know, I'm happy that we negotiated his contract. Me too. Because we're only got I mean, if you're an artist, an aspiring artist, and you're listening, I think we just worked out a mere 30%. Because 15 and 15. <laughs> And so you're still making nothing. money. Come on. You're going to make a lot. It's, it's going right. to be so good. Uh, <laughs> just like our travels recently, you know, I mean, people have been following us on these social feeds and such, and there's always a creeper, you know, like no matter where we go, whether you're taking a picture with a celebrity or I'm with someone, you know, who is it that always makes his way into the the, the frame there? That would be that uh, Jason Pink Pink's 10. 10. You know, Pink's you, you see 10. him, you know him, you love him. He's that guy. Oh, oh there, he there he is. There he is. There he is. Yeah. So anyway, um, Jason finally sat down after coming off the road for like a solid week, maybe even longer, figured it all up. Calculated. Calculated and crunched listen, the numbers. Crunched the numbers. <laughs> and here is what we have. Here's come the up final with. total. Here it Pay is. Pay attention. Seven straight days of shoots. Check. One thousand miles on the road. Check. Four states. Check. Two TV show shoots. Check. 24 interview shoots. 10 concerts. A red carpet event. And about two days worth of B roll. And Put a your cartridge. In a pear in a tree. Pear tree. Put our right. capes up, wings up. I mean, we have been flying. But we've got, you think we got some good stuff coming we out? We got some great stuff. It's going to be amazing. Great stuff. Epic. Oh, epic. epic. That's Let's a give a little movie. hint, okay? I'm going to start with American Idol Phenom. Oh. I'm not saying who it is. That's right. Okay. Jason, you want to give a little tease? Um, I know a woman who went out with How Prince. about, I'll just say a song title, Chariot. Oh. Ooh. Nice. You know That's nice. good. Do you, know, yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. even know who that is, right? No, no I, got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got there. one. I got one. Ready? The new Toy Story movie's coming out this uh -huh. summer. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's right. You got that one? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I know that one. I know, I know that, that one. one. Yep. Um, you know, there's a there's a crazy movement now. They've made TV shows about it. They come into the ring, you know, they wear they're all vying to wear belts, you know, they're men, the mm -hmm. women. women. That makes sense. And can I just say they're are they beautiful? They're hot, man. They mm -hmm. are hot. Beautiful. Yeah, Julie put the costume on. It was a little weird, but I mean, no, you can't. It wasn't you a little it. weird. It was a little tight. It was a little tight. It was a little weird. So much. And we do want to say a special thank you to Stacy yep. Pisoni, our, our producer. Uh, producer. She kills it for us, and she's like, um, we made her a little mad. I mean, we had to deviate you from made time her to time. Mad. But, you know, for all those reps out there, look, we're the spiel. We want to be your good time crew. We want to have fun with you. And sometimes when it gets a little cray cray, it was crazy. Sometimes you got to bow out. You got to protect this face. I mean, look, people were coming up. They wanted, like, they were touching her. Touch. It was just weird. We had to pull her out. It was too much. It was too but much. Stace, we love you. And we thank do. you. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Rob's back from California. So, what does that tell you? Huh? You do not want to miss You the do next not want to miss any episodes. spiels. No doubt. This is going to go on and on and on and on. On and on and on and on. Matter of fact, we interviewed one artist. Right. That's going to be a whole show. That's I'm right. Thinking. We're going back to her house. Yes. Yeah. She's her inviting house. us over for a pajama party now. Huh? We got to get in her closet right and there. put on her hat. In her closet. Yep. And she spilled a lot of things from the closet. I was like, yeah. Are you sure you want to share that? 
Yeah. Matter of fact, there was that one scene she spilled a little Ooh, too much. Yeah, her, her microphone yeah, got yeah. caught on her yeah, short yeah, yeah, skirt. Yeah, yeah. and well, I had to go to the rescue look, and pull it down. Listen, anything you goes don't want, here. On you this don't want to miss okay. it. All right. So, what is our word, Rob? It needs to be something for like um, going the distance, like like reaching further, going like a milestone, but a different word that's cooler. Uh huh. What is this? Oh, persevere. That's it. Oh. Uh huh. Hey. Persevere. Why are you so light talking? Who no, is this chick? She's, it's persevere. Like she's on helium. Do yeah. It again. Persevere. 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 What is this? Somebody's what? kid? What is this? Huh? Persevere. I like it. It's like, <laughs> who paid her to do the Webster dictionary? Persevere. Yeah. What do you mean? Persevere. Persevere. Oh. Pe persevere. <laughs> persevere. That's a little weird. Why well, that was that? helium. That's scary, that was man. Helium. Persevere. That's Persever. it. That's Ready? Our, that's Persevere. Three you words. I'll go. Okay. Per. Ser. Is it sir or say? Say. Okay. Yeah. Per. <laughs> huh? Here yeah. we go. Persevere. Yeah. That's it. Right here. The spiel, baby. That's what we did. We persevered. We came. We saw. We got kicked some butt. Until next time. Look oh so sweet, I said oh so sweet She's my madness, stripping down my sanity She took my mind from me, my heart bank her empty Keeps it classless, it blurs the last line between
four millimeter cane lens. All right, whenever you're ready, go for it. All right, hi, my name's Joseph Raby, and I'm here on the spiel today talking about my book, The Heart Arsonist, Lessons from a Heart Set on Fire. It was great to be here with Julie and Angie today and the entire staff. They're incredibly hospitable, and it's really awesome to see the work that they're doing here in Southern Illinois, really highlighting the people and the places and the things that we have here. So you guys need to check out this show and make this a regular part of your viewing. Boom. Killed it. Love it. That's awesome. Right. Cool, man. Let's make the most of this night. Come on, baby, take my hand. How you doing? I'm Matt Bosler. I was on the spiel today. It was awesome. Everybody was so great to talk to. I got to rock out in the studio. It was great. It was great. I, I thoroughly suggest all the artists and the artists and the craft to come on the show. It's fun. Fun time. Sweet. Boom. There we go. What are you making this, uh, this morning? I'm making a, a, a light summer dish. It's um, Penang curry shrimp with watermelon. Kind of a spicy dish where the watermelon is going to sweeten it up, lighten it up a little bit from the spice. Rolling in three, two, one. Hey, big dog. Just uh, sit here for modeling for Rob. Don't put that in there. Don't put that in there. No, don't put that on here. Hey, My name is Alyssa Goodman. I see a variety of clients here of all ages um, for a variety of mental health issues or life stressors that they're dealing with. I genuinely care about all of my patients. I know life happens, stress happens, it's a safe environment, everything's confidential, it's never going to leave the office, you have someone who's not judgmental in any way. And that's just there to help you with whatever issue you have going on. I do pride myself on really, really genuinely caring about them and trying to help them meet goals that they set. Visit us at crhpc.org. These days, video is everywhere. TVs, computers, even your phone. With so many ways to use video to reach your potential audience, it's become an important part of doing business. If you like the commercials you've seen during the spiel, and if your business could benefit from a creative approach to telling your story, with attention-grabbing visuals and thoughtfully executed scripts, perhaps it's time you give Growing Media a call. We'd love to hear from you. 